I realized I never actually decorated the mining facility in uh, episode two. So I did a little bit of interior decorating. It's really not much, but you know, it's a little something. I don't actually have a lot of objects for interiors at the moment, because you need tiny little, little items like amethyst shards and stuff like that. So once I get all that, I'll come back and decorate. I don't even have any uh, flower pots. But anyway, I added a little chimney to the build facility. Got my first pickaxe and my first diamond. Kept that for a long time. And we're just gonna have it uh, find its home here. Then I added uh, some storage space for some stone types. I haven't actually done too much, but I did do a little bit of mining off camera. The, the what everyone jokes about, but um, honestly, I didn't really find anything. Uh, basically, it's got a ton of deep slate. But today, we're headed to the nether. Not something that I really want to do, but something that has to be done, unfortunately. Uh, traveling in this world takes forever because it's a large biomes. So with nether access, we can actually try to make a maybe a little nether highway up on the roof and see how that goes. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do the nether highway, but I'm going to venture into the nether and make a little nether portal build. Uh, it's gonna be in the shape of a teapot because we're gonna be using quartz and that's something you get in the nether. But as always, before we venture off, we're going to have to do a little bit of lore. Fairies are a resourceful race. They are oftentimes found repurposing litter left behind from others. If you venture far enough into the Sylvan frontier, you may stumble across boots from the lost and fallen, repurposed into a fey hole. I think it's time we start looking for some diamonds and get ready for that nether. All right, I mined for quite a while and I only found four diamonds, but uh, the version I'm playing in is 1.20.1 and the uh, diamond distribution is not as good apparently. So <laughs> we're just gonna stick with, we're just gonna mine three of these pieces and uh, kind of make ourselves a diamond pick. Um, and then hopefully eventually we'll get fortune and we'll mine the last one. Oh yeah. Oh, finally some diamonds I can actually use. And that's not just for show. Cause like you can't use your, you can't use your first diamond. You, know? you gotta, you gotta save that thing. Also, thank you very much. Uh, I actually got a hundred subscribers and that's, you know, more than I would have thought I would get in the span of like a month. So I, I really appreciate that. If you like what you see, you know, please subscribe. It really does help a channel like mine. But I just want to thank y'all for giving me all the support and love. Y'all leave some really nice comments for me. And here we have our first diamond pickaxe. Oh yeah. Need this to get uh, some obsidian. I'm not actually stupid enough to pick it to the nether because I know I'm gonna die. So we're gonna just find ourselves some obsidian. I did already collect some. I might actually have enough, but let's see if I can find it. I have uh, quite a, an issue with storage at the moment. I'm very unorganized, so we're gonna also have to organize in the future. Now for this nether portal, we're just gonna be putting it inside of a building. Normally I would try to have it actually like out and about, but I don't know. I think, I think uh, a big tree, like an organic tree type of nether portal or like an amethyst portal would work as well. But uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna build this little teapot and you know, if I don't like it, I'll just repurpose the teapot and I'll move the nether portal somewhere. 
I don't actually have uh, that much obsidian. Oh no. Now, <laughs> is it ugly? Yes, it is ugly, but it'll do the job. Hopefully, we get something good. Just not a soul sand, please. Oh. No soul sand valley. That's good. Oh. Um. Huh. It's not the greatest spawn. I'm like all the way up in the air. And it's just like the old, old nether. But that's okay. We're gonna bridge over. The reason we're coming here today is we're after some quartz. So I've got quite some mining to do. And once I'm done mining, I'll uh, meet you back in the overworld. Sir, please leave me alone. Burn. Burn. Oh. I didn't realize they burned. More quartz is needed because, man, quartz is such pain to gather with no fortune. Because I need four stacks of nether quartz just to get one stack of blocks. And I need... I need a lot. I don't know how much, but I need I need a decent amount at least. Oh. And just jump. Anyways, back to more quartz. Well, I've decimated the nether quartz supply quite drastically. I probably mine out all the nether quartz I could find within like a hundred radius. Well, except for that. Those are like on the roof. But yeah. This you know, I was not the biggest fan of this spawn at first, but it's actually not too bad. Luckily, the large biomes doesn't affect the nether, so I can actually get to other biomes like this basalt delta right here, very close to our portal. And then we also have a crimson forest in that direction. So not having large biomes in the nether at least, it's going to be kind of nice. That way I don't have to travel thousands and thousands of blocks for those uh, two wood type, like the crimson and the warped. And also um, we can get some building blocks like the blackstone and the basalt. Those guys are menaces. I've been almost killed a few times as I was mining the other quartz. But anyways, it's time to head back into the overworld and see what we got. All right, it ain't much, but uh, we got a ton of nether quartz. Um, unfortunately, this nether quartz is not gonna go very far because it takes four stacks of nether quartz to get one stack of quartz blocks. So, yeah. Um, you know, it would have been easier if I had made, you know, an enchanting table and tried to get fortune, but you know, I figured that out midway through and I was in too deep already and then I would get sidetracked. So the enchanting table and enchantment will be, you know, in a different episode, but um, yeah. And then uh, another thing that would help with this is villager trading halls are fantastic for quartz. So I will be doing that eventually, especially because um, I'm trying not to update my version of Minecraft until later. Right now I'm playing 1.20.1, which is, um, it doesn't affect the villager trade yet. So I'm trying to get those unlimited, those very cheap trades so that it makes gathering resources for building a lot easier later down the line. So I'll have to jump into that in the future, but that build is gonna be in a different area because I don't think uh, villager trading kind of matches the full fairy vibe. And then, so got a bunch of, 
bunch of nether quartz. Uh, I got a, just a stack of basalt just just cause, and then you know leftover netherrack. I didn't really go too ham on collecting other things, just mainly nether quartz. So how about we just start building? Wow, this is actually a really nice view. Also, throw on shaders, and even more pretty. Look at that. Time to get some quartz. Oh. Now, it is very abysmal amount, I must say. I think, I think we'll start off with this and then I'll, I need, I do need some other quartz for like, you know, other things in the future. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that for now. Um, I do have to smelt up some of these blocks quartz to make smooth quartz so let's get on with that i realize i do need to make a little smelting station uh for this mine facility as well so i'll probably do that in the next episode or in between the next episode and showcase it yeah watching this quartz smell is like watching paint dry so uh, i'm just gonna go do some other things as this kind of smelts up i i only have one furnace here and all the quartz is now smelted up so i think it's about time we start getting along with this build i'm gonna build a little teapot short and stout And we're done. I think it's a pretty cozy build. I also, oh, I also died to a pillager of all things. So all the levels that I got just now from mining all that quartz is all gone. So eventually I'll have to get back to uh, level 31 to get some enchants because I got a diamond pick that really needs some loving. But anyways, here's a build. We used uh, lots of Quartz, smooth quartz to be exact. There is some other parts like chiseled quartz. We got a little pink here. We also use some uh, calcite and a little bit of diorite here, near the bottom for the diorite. Calcite is kind of scattered throughout. And we got a little teacup here. That's got a little bit of water in there. But yeah, it kind of works with uh, another portal room because the nether is hot. Hot, old hot stuff. But yeah, a little bit of uh, overgrownness to it per usual. Uh, that's kind of a style of the build that we're going for when we're going cottage core and all that. We've got a very cute little uh, chimney coming out of the the spout. Yeah. So got a chimney coming out the spout. Take a look at the interior. The interior is very, very barren. There's like absolutely nothing in here. Just a little fireplace uh, that goes out the tea spout. And the nether portal. Now, then we also have a little window here. We got our little flowers. Uh, the view is not the greatest because you're looking at the little handle right there, but hey, it's all good. Yeah, I got a little pool for our pool. I don't know. A little hot tub here. Oh, speaking of, let's uh, let's, let's test something. So we've got this axolotl from like episode one, and let's see. I think maybe it'll fit here. Uh, looks like. You can only stay in the middle block because of, uh, I guess you can't swim on the stairs. 
kind of looks like we're cooking them more than anything. I'm, I'm gonna scoop them up back for now. Um, maybe, maybe I'll put them in there. I gotta give them a name so I don't want them to spawn. Now, also, I've been going pretty deep into the world building and uh, trying to keep things somewhat realistic. And for the most part, I'm gonna stick with that, but I think, um, like, I've been getting kind of an issue with scale. So, like, this build, for example, um, in real life, maybe a teapot would be a lot larger, especially in the size of the berry. Compared, this, this compared to the boot, for example, um, the boot is much larger. I think in reality, a teapot would be a little larger than, than this compared to the shoe, the boot over there. Um, but I think it's taken a little bit of the fun out of Minecraft. So I think uh, we'll dial back a little bit on that world building aspect and not, not worry about the size as much as I used to. Um, like that fishing pole, for example, a fishing pole is quite large for, you know, in real life. But um, in comparison to this pot, this fishing rod should be longer. But, you know, I can't build realistically all the time. So I can't build realistic in size all the time. So I think we might just, you know, go about this and, you know, build fun things and not worry about the scale as much. Anyways, um, for this fairy city, fairies oftentimes don't really live in big cities like this. I feel like fairies are more uh, clanastic. Is that a word? Clanastic? I mean, they live in clans, I guess. Um, so, a big city like this that I'm going to be making, that's it's going to be kind of spanning this entire section right here. Um, fairies wouldn't oftentimes live in big cities. They're kind of more focused on their own clan. But for this is going to be one of the big cities for the fairies. Well, probably the city for the fairies. But so sometimes in the forest, they will find some lost items like this teapot from a lost or fallen traveler who ventures a little too deep into the woods and they'll try to transport it over. So now, so that's why uh, we've got a little teapot here. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't make sense for all of these items to just, you know, scatter around this one section. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's all the time we have for today. I really do appreciate anyone taking time out of the day to watch these silly little videos. Oh, look, there's a pigment in the back. Oh, he just left. But anyways, thanks for watching again. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Do leave a comment letting me know what you like. Do you like time lapses? Do you like little cinematics? Um, I'm not sure for the buildings if people prefer watching cinematics or kind of like a little bit of block placing and then the final product. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying to get situated into this YouTube landscape. I don't really know what I'm doing necessarily. So I do appreciate any pointers. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye now. Thank you.